Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I'm rocking Vintage once again, this is the Untap Open League. This is not my deck, this is my opponent's deck. This is Grixis... That says Carmen Nova. Let me... Wait, 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 wait. So, Carmen Nova gave the deck to Awesome Mr. J, but Awesome Mr. J is running it. It's Grixis Thieves. And if you don't know how that goes, long story short, not a lot of creatures, not even a lot of planeswalkers. You're just hoping to keep the opponent from doing what they'd like to do until eventually you win the game. You can outvalue the opponent ridiculously with cards like Notion Thief and even Trinket Mage and Snapcaster Mage, Dak with Narset's real combo, Jace the Mind Sculptor. You get the idea. Uh, my deck is not actually a vintage deck. This is modern. Uh, Hogak. This is <laughs> this is Simon Nielsen's Grand Prix winning modern deck, but it's perfectly legal for vintage. And uh, I'm actually up 2-0 in the in the tournament so far uh, <laughs> in the Swiss. This is round three then. And uh, okay, so looking at this hand, this is not great. So I'm on the play, and I have five lands. Three of which are fetch land, so I can fill the yard pretty quickly, but I'll have to mull. So I'm going to say that, and uh, my opponent has not... Oh, wait a minute. Where's Mulligan? There you are. There you are. All right, we'll Mulligan once. Uh, although I think I should probably wait for my opponent to decide themselves so they don't have any additional information. But I did say Mulligan once, so... Uh, and because I'm going first, the onus is on me to decide first. So, we'll just do this. Now, we have to keep six. Okay. So, one, two land, three lands, excuse me. Okay, three lands. And they're all fetch lands. Okay, this is great, actually. This is great. So, we can go turn one, Stitcher Supplier. Turn two, we can go, uh, we could go Altar of Dementia, sack the Stitcher Supplier, and then, so we'd mill one, two, three, uh, plus the second time, so four, five, six. Let's see. This is only a one, one. So uh, that'd be seven cards. That's pretty good. <laughs> I hear that that's okay. That seems like a great way to start. All right, so we will put. Does it really matter? Uh, well, I guess we'll put wooded foothills on the bottom because it doesn't go and get a swamp. So we will uh, not do that. We will put you on the bottom of the deck. Cool. All right, ready. Round one, fight. All right, we're going to go, all right, crack. I could just get a swamp here, uh, but given the matchup, I don't think that my life total actually matters. So we're just going to go and get, just in case, it, just in case the color comes up, uh, we're going to go and get an overgrown tomb. Uh, this is a tiny little screen, there we go. Cool, overgrown tomb. Do you have Mental Misstep? Alright. Okay. <laughs> okay is one they're away from Oko, apparently. And we're going to Mill 3. Just to make sure, I'd like to see if this is a May. Nope, it's put. <laughs> you just... I, I'm going to, but <laughs> I just was curious. Alright. It's worded a little oddly. Discard the top three. Let's see what we hit. We hit nothing great. I mean, yeah, nothing great, unfortunately. And then we'll pass the turn. Uh, yeah, could be better. No Hogak, for instance. That would be nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's a main board card. Uh, folks? Where are you? Yep, Nile Spellbomb. <laughs> That's a main board card, folks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Alright, so we'll untap. Duro. Yeah, no, no actual dredge cards in the deck, so I'll, I'll never be actually dredging, unfortunately. Uh huh. So let's see. Things we can do here. I I'm actually tempted to just go on the Lotless Troll beatdown plan. It's a little slow, 
it's actually very slow, uh, but we actually might be able to get away with that. We have two creatures in the hand, and that is, uh, that is a clock. Let me, let me just let my opponent know that I'm not stalled. Well, you know what, I'll just type it. <laughs> Thinking. Thinking. There we go. Alright, so let's see. Alternatively, we can play an Altered Dementia this turn. You know, there's a Nile Spellbomb there. I'm actually a little tempted to just try putting the pressure on the opponent because they have Spellbomb. Uh, maybe I can force them to pop Spellbomb a little bit early just to draw a card. So we will go to combat. Was good against keeping... If keeping all interaction and no payoff is good against Dredge. <laughs> yeah, I wonder too. Alright, that's the one. Cool. We're gonna go main phase two. Here's a verdict catacomb. Crack it. Boop. Alright. Let's see. Blood crypt. Blood Crypt. There you are. Only one Blood Crypt, by the way, folks. Just in case. I don't have another fetch land, so I may want to actually do this sooner rather than later. Alright, we'll see if this resolves. I actually would probably rather the Lot Troll get countered than the Altar of Dementia, actually. Odd as that may sound, Altar of Dementia lets me... Oh, okay, there we go. We're going to say... Pass. Won't actually discard until it comes time for attackers. Might as well keep all options on the table. Hmm. Now, looking at the Grixis Thieves list, uh, do I see any copies of Fatal Push? I do not. Hmm. There should be Lightning Bolt in here somewhere, though, right? Right? Surely. Is there no Lightning Bolt? I mean, it's in the sideboard, but there's no mainboard lightning bolt. Hey! Alright, okay. Okay, now. Okay. Well... Okay. I need something to do with all this mana. Yikes, Scoob. Yikes, Scooby. Alright. I'm gonna check the graveyard one more time, just to make sure. Now, the way that Hogak is worded, you can cast it from the hand. Ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess. I suppose. Huh. Well, you're a zombie. Not that it matters too much. Hmm. Alright. So, first we're going to go to combat. Good. Type before damage. Make sure that they're okay with it first. Uh, for damage, we're going to put zero on here first. Discard you. Discard you. Cool. Good. All right. Got there. Got there. Cool. Stuff is happening. Uh, I'll set you over here. No need to reveal to my opponent what the last card is. It doesn't... <laughs> Jeez. Look at this. Look at this. You know, the only reason I can think of... Okay, there, this is getting countered. This has to be getting countered. Was this going to be a raw force of will? One, two, three, four, plus soul ring. They could just hard cast force of will. Because uh, Academy is making four. Um, blue floating. Oh, oh, neat. Neat. I believe that this is worded such that it gets exiled. Exile instead of putting it on its own scraper. Cool. All right, cool. Got me. Uh... Let's see, do I want to leave up anything for regen? I don't think the deck has anything. Let's look through one more time. One more time. I have been wrong a time or two. But really, other than creatures, 
I don't think so. So we're just going to pass. Really love to see, like, a Jace. Yeah, Jace here would be good, because I no longer have an altar to try to sack something in response. Okay, Mox, let's go. Best top deck. Best top deck. Alright. Let's doodle. Ooh, there's an there's an assassin's, assassin's trope. Ass. Ah, la 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 la. Rada 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 rada. Ah, yeah. Ding. Hello. Ding. There we go. Fiber. Hits you with a fiber. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And save up the regen there because, you know, Snapcaster Mage is a card. There is a Snapcaster in there. And there's a, uh, there's a Notion Thief as well, so flashing those in would actually make this relevant. Uh, now that being the case, do I need to play out this Swamp? Like, Spell Pierce is not going to care whether I have three mana or two when it comes to Assassin's Trophy. So given that, I keep looking back here just to make... Yeah, oh, oh. Well, no, 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 Flusterstorm is going to be Spell Pierce uh, for this purpose. Hmm. Please tell me they have, like, the double Pyroblast hand or something stupid like that. That would be glorious. I'm going to say pass the turn, I believe is correct. We're going to pass the turn. All right, let's get there. Let's see if we can get there. One Assassin's Trophy. I, uh, I think I'm okay with that. All right, come on. Ah, okay, Fatal Push. <laughs> if I draw all mana. Yup. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would be too, Mr. J. I would be too. This is me not blaming you one bit. Okay. So I probably should, yeah, I'm going to play the Swamp here. Because now it actually matters. Fatal Push, Flusterstorm, or uh, Spell Pierce, now it matters. Uh, we're going to say... Hiya. Let's see what we have. What do you have? What do you got? What do you got for me? Alright. Now, they can still win. It is still possible. It is still possible. What are they going to do? What are they going to do? Uh, uh. Oh, look! Mana! Mana? <laughs> A cast I can cast to flashback. <laughs> what? I I don't get that. A cast I can cast. My useless... Oh, okay. Snap, snappy boy. All right. Game two. I swear. I swear. <laughs> if this deck actually wins... If this deck actually wins something... Okay, okay, okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's really not get ahead of ourselves. So, the Thieves list is running 25 spells. Spells being not artifacts, lands, planeswalkers, or creatures. So, it's the other category. It's your instants and sorceries. That's a lot, and that means that Collective Brutality makes some sense. However, what creatures does it kill? Uh, Snapcaster Mage, but it has Flash, and Collective Brutality is a sorcery. Notion Thief, but same. Trinket Mage, but whatever. And no! <laughs> so, it's basically going to be like extra copies of duress in uh, actually extra copies of much worse duress in this matchup so i'm a little cautious about that force of vigor though seems to make a lot of sense if we look at the grixis thieves list you saw a bunch of artifacts there's 12 artifacts in the list now it won't kill blightsteel but they have the uh the time vault combo in the deck they have a bunch of early mana and one of the ways you can keep this deck off is just to deal with it early. Um, 
Now, how is the opponent going to sideboard against me? Well, obviously Pyroblast comes out. That's that's absolutely useless. Flusterstorm is about as close to useless as you can get. And what's coming in? Tormod's Crypt, Yixla Jailer, Four Leyline of the Void. Uh, maybe Sphinx of the Steel Wind. They might put that in over Blightsteel. I, I would not be surprised. Now, you notice zero copies of Graft Digger's Cage, but Leyline of the Void. Alright, so we have to run Force of Vigor no matter what, because, well, they have Ley Lines. And if they didn't have Ley Lines... Oh, excuse me, other Force of Vigor. If they didn't have Ley Lines, they'd have Graft Digger's Cage, so that's to be expected. As for me, what else? Is, is it worth it to run more Nature's Claims? I think that the answer is probably yes. I would like to keep Nature's Claim in here. Uh, they're going to be sideboarding against the Graveyard, so Altar of Dementia loses some of its utility. Um, Crypt Breaker has to stay. That's a really good card in the matchup, actually, to the extent that I can slow the game down. Fatal Push as a way to kill a creature? I mean, I guess, but I think I would rather not. It's just one. I still have Astro uh, Assassin's Trophy. Uh, you know what? I do have a mainboard copy of Collective Brutality, and that probably has to go, right? Like... The way that they're going to sideboard in this matchup, Collective Brutality just doesn't do a lot. Um, I'd like to go really creature heavy if I can help it. I'm actually going to sort of move away from the graveyard. Um, like I'll, I'll still be able to use it for value potentially if there's not like a turn one ley line, but having five effects gives me something like a 50% chance to have one of them in the opening hand, plus there's Assassin's Trophy already, so I'll have a decent chance of getting rid of a ley line. Tormod's Crypt is a little trickier, but it's actually not that bad, in my opinion. And the reason is because it's temporary. It's like Ravenous Trap or Nile Spellbomb. Nile Spellbomb's just better because they draw a card. Okay. Those mas. Those mas. Glowspore Shaman is a 3-1 for 2, and that, that in and of itself makes it pretty decent. Um, it gets a land from the graveyard on top of the library. That's a little awkward. I mean, it still fills the graveyard. It, it's in there for a reason. Like, what's the worst card that's left then? Like, it can't be Lot with Troll. Looking at the, uh, the Thieves list, they're bringing in. Maybe they're bringing in Lightning Bolt. I would be a little surprised. They, they, no, they're not bringing Lightning Bolt. Actually, never mind. That's that's not enough. That doesn't do enough. My creatures keep coming back from the yard, or too big, or regen. Lightning Bolt doesn't make the cut. Uh, Braid doesn't, so we're looking at, once again, one? Mm, that's risky. Uh, we'll say one. So we're looking at six, maybe seven cards. If it's seven, it's out. Blightsteel comes out. Easy enough. Fair enough. No worries there. Um, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's gotta be it. They have to bring in the Sphinx. I just need to figure out the last two. That's Man, this is this is honestly pretty tough. Like, I am really going in the tank on this one. Is it bad that I'm actually debating? Br no, Carrion Feeder, you you've got to stay, right? You have to stay, don't you? It's redundant, though. All right, I think I have my answer. I think I, I think I have my final answer. We're gonna take. This is gonna sound weird. Correct. Uh, this this is gonna sound really really weird. We're taking out two carrion feeders. It is a redundant effect. Um, oh, it's so low to the ground though. Maybe I'm supposed to do venge vine. Maybe I'm supposed to do venge vine. I can legitimately cast venge vine in this matchup though, and it's green green for a uh, force. All right, it says I shuffled automatically. Shoutouts to shuffling automatically. Let's draw a seven, please. Ooh. Oh, uh, okay, wait, 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 they get to go first. Alright, so let's see. Uh, one, two, three. But you know what, I, okay, well, you have a nature's climb. This is fine, this is fine, we'll keep. What you got? So it's Verdant, Polluted Delta, Overburn Tomb. Oh, no, no, oh, they didn't have it! Okay, okay, they got something, though. I have something up their sleeve. Alright, what you got? Turn one Notion Thief? Let's go. Okay, this is fine. We can pop it early. 
So now we don't have to worry about the ley lines. Like, if they had a ley line, obviously they would have just played it then, so they don't have a ley line in the hand. Um, I think I just popped this early. And I can force them to crack the Black Lotus if they want to get uh, card draw off of it. There we go. Whee! Boop. <laughs> Just so that they know it's not going after Black Lotus. Alright, doing it. Oh, I don't have any cards in my yard. Oh, what is going on? Okay. Alright. No extra card was drawn. And then, pass the turn. Alright, we're doing okay! We're doing okay, folks! We may actually make it! We may make it! Alright, now... Oh! No, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right. There's no stomping ground in the list. So I could not have gotten a stomping ground in order to... Ideally, I'd be able to go na stomping ground, nature's claim, and then on the next turn, faithless looting, play a land to get blood gas back. But I don't have any stomping grounds, so I didn't have that as an option anyway. Uh, you know, this is looking okay. Oh, and we have another one, just in case. Just. In. Case. Okay, so let's see. There's no way that we can realistically cast two creatures coming up. So I think I'm just supposed to go... Faithless Looting, Hold Up Nature's Claim, I believe. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that line. It doesn't really matter which of these two I get. So I'll just do this one first. Crack! Blip, blip, blip. Getting a little bit ahead of myself. Just a little bit, folks. I'm gonna find a card. I'm actually feeling really good about this game. The way that it's shaking out so far. I'm feeling really good about this game. Yeah. Let's see. Faithless Looting. And they don't have a mental misstep either. If they did, they absolutely would have fired that earlier. Alright, so we will draw two. One, two. Um, Bloodgas Vengevine, right? Yeah, Bloodgas Vengevine. Next turn's gonna be great. Next turn's gonna be great, folks. And then we'll pass. See if they have anything. Go ahead, my B. Oh, I missed. Okay, okay. That's right, the right, that's right. The no response alert response. Go ahead, my B. Okay, we're good. This is EOT, I guess. No response. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, target self. You you bet. You bet. Hmm. Oh, by the way, by the way, coffee. This whole 30 ounce thermos is coffee. Point of reference here, folks. I am, uh, uh being a pure caffeine at this point. I, I worked yesterday afternoon and evening, uh, went to sleep, got about three hours of sleep, uh, because I couldn't sleep. And then, um, went to work this morning and afternoon, and here I am, so I am, <laughs> I'm running on fumes. I'm not sure how I'm still <laughs> here. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's okay, I'll live. Alright, so the way that Leyline works, not that it matters, but the way that Leyline works is... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, no response. We're gonna say no response. We can Black Lotus, we can use the Nature's Claim on the Black Lotus next turn. Um, which we might do, actually. They may be going and putting something on top of their deck, assuming they're going to have the mana to use it with Black Lotus. And if they don't, we may actually get a, a free little... We, we may force them to draw a blank card. That's the hope, anyway. That's the hope. Okay. No, wait, they're going to draw it this turn. Yep, they're going to draw it this turn. Thinking. Huh. I, I would have to do it in response. I would have to... Yeah, I would have to do it in response. I think that this is a fine play. I think.
Whatever that card is, I, I would not like for them to get it. And I have to do this now, because if I don't, I won't have priority to do it after the brainstorm. Okay, yeah, it's a mana ability, so I can't actually respond to that. Uh, they don't gain life. Wait, 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 wait. How did you gain life? How did you gain life? Serious question. What happened? Oh, yep, yep, I'm done. I'm done. I fired off two claims this game. And the first one actually resolved. Yep. I is smart. <laughs> I told you, sleep. When I see the number 21 specifically in this, it makes me think that they just... So if you right-click, it goes one direction. If you left-click, it goes in the other direction. There's a soul ring. Okay. I'm sorry, what just happened here? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, first claim. Yep. Moved soul ring from hand into play. Oh, because they they had the black lotus. They had the black lotus. Popped it from black lotus. I'm 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 slow right now. I'm just gonna make sure I have it right. They still have man. Okay, so they spent blue, two colorless, two here. All right, go on. Okay. Okay. Key. All right. There's one. Blue floating. Yep. Yep. All right. It's gonna untap the time vault. Yep. Go on. I am going to actually make them play it out, and that's not because I'm trying to be a jerk. Nope, please play it out. I, it's not because I'm trying to be a jerk, it's because I'm trying to see how they play, like how they board it. Okay. So for example, I still have to see a win condition, and yes, the, at this point the win condition is anything, um, but for example, I might get information on Blightsteel versus Sphinx. Uh, and I might be able to see some extra little tech. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that stays tapped. This will also give you all a chance to see what the deck looks like in action. Um, but yeah, this is this is how the deck works. Now the opponent gets to do all of the things. Alright. This also give me a chance to have some coffee. I really need to pay attention. Okay, so Trinket Mage. Black Lotus is already gone, and they already have Manifold Key, so I'm not sure what they're getting. It, it's a choose-your-own-adventure. They can get whatever they'd like. Nile Spellbomb. <laughs> okay, Jet. Jet works. Uh, Trinket Mage, by the way, is the, the reason why Nile Spellbomb's in the deck, in addition to having a bunch of tutors. And it's a solid card. Uh, worst case scenario, it just draws you a card. It's a weird cantrop. It's like a pre-astrolabe, I suppose. Uh, best case scenario, it shores up a matchup that you hate, which is, of course, Dredge. Vintage Dredge. Uh, without something like that, Thieves does not really get anywhere. Yep, swing two. Alright. Alright, let's see what other card... Now, if there, if Mr. J is is going to be clever about it, then J will not play any more cards the rest of this game. Just to, just to hide as much information as possible. I already knew that Leyline of the Void was going to be coming in. That's that's kind of a given. Uh, let's see. Swing two. Take it. All right. All right. Click to bring me down. Oh no. Why are we still playing stuff? Just another... Oh, Notion Thief. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Uh, to be fair, it is a little weird that Notion Thief is still in the deck, but it's it's perfectly reasonable. There's so few actual win cons, you probably have to keep Notion Thief, even though it doesn't really do much. 
Like, the one thing that it does... Alright. Now I will scoop. Now I will scoop. The one thing it does is it makes Faithful Sluting not let me draw cards, but I still discard, which is fine, actually. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 that was close. That was close. Alright. Uh, change. If I'm going to be on the play, what does this change? Not much. Not much, right? Hmm. Oof. Let's see. You know, I wonder if Shriekhorn is worse than Carrion Feeder here. I wonder. Uh, the third Carrion Feeder, that is. I wonder. Now, I don't have fast mana, so I can't go turn one Brutality anyway. <sighs> third Carrion Feeder or Shriekhorn? In other words, third Carrion Feeder or fifth Faithless Looting? Faithless Looting. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I'd like to keep the Shriekhorn. Even though I could very well get hit. Huh. Huh. I don't want to go too low on creatures. That doesn't sound ideal. And they're bringing in a lot of graveyard hate. And I can win without the graveyard. I do have other one drop, other turn one plays. I have more nature's claims. So maybe we do take out a shriek horn. Oh, this feels weird though. This feels weird. This feels really weird. Shriekhorn or Carrion Feeder? Number three. Uh, you know, it makes Hogak easier to cast if I have Carrion Feeder. Kind of, kind of. Shriekhorn enables Hogak, but having the creatures in the first place, eh, it's fine, it's fine. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Final answer. Decent seven. That's a decent seven. Force of Vigor. Land, 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 Stitcher Supplier, lot. This is great, actually. Keep. Alright, please, for the love of all things good and holy, please go turn zero ley line. Ley line? <laughs> ley line? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, just making sure. Making sure. It is a it is a card after all. Alright, Jay, what you got? What you got? What you got? Oh How we doing it? How we doing it? Oh, no response. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's go. Turn one. You overgrown tomb. Oh, hello. That's what I meant to do. Hello? <laughs> Find a card. Get an overgrown tomb. Shriekhorn. There you are. A joy of alphabetical order. Woo! I am so sleepy that I'm delirious, folks. That's exactly what's going on here. So here's my turn one <laughs> Mox Jet, Ancestral Recall, and Black Lotus. <laughs> All in the same card. Let's go. Alright, let's see what they have. What do they have? Discard the top three. What did we get? Okay, well, there's a grave crawler. So we have Carrion Feeder Grave Crawler going. That's a thing. And then I'll pass. And we still have a green card in our hand. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, come on, Jay. What you got? Other J, not me, not this J. Saitama. There we go. Come on, Saitama. I have no response, but you know. You know. Oh, that was quick. That was really quick. Huh. I, that's a little disconcerting, actually. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think I'm supposed to go.
yeah, let's just go the combat first. Derp. Derp in for one. Alright, what do we have? What you got? What you got? <laughs> well, let's look at their list again. No ravenous traps, right? Nope. No ravenous traps. Cool. So I don't have to worry about how many cards go in at once. Oh, I can, I can kind of feel myself crashing, to be honest, so... I may want to take it a little slow on you. Or maybe juice myself up on caffeine just to make sure I can get through this game. But I, I feel myself... slowly starting to solidify. Alright. I, I do want to, after the game, apologize to Jay. I wasn't trying to be a jerk by making him play it out. I was trying to just see more. See more of the deck. Strategically, I think it makes sense. And it also makes it better for you guys, I guess. You get to see the deck play. But, uh, yeah, it, it works. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stay tapped, buddy. <laughs> Stay tapped, buddy. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright. Main two. It's not the next turn. Alright, so let's see. I believe that I'm supposed to go fetch. Hide the Blood Crypt. Hide the Blood Crypt. Don't let my opponent know that I have that tech. I can get a Swamp here. Yeah, the deck has multiple Swamps, so let, let's actually find out. We still have one more Basic Swamp. We have one more Overgrown Tomb. In a matchup where, honestly, the, the life total doesn't really matter, so I probably should be okay with just shocking again. But look how little green I have. I have Force of Vigor is double green. That's it. Is that worth it? Is that worth... <sighs> you know, it might be. Given how little the life total matters, it might actually be worth it. Take the extra bit of damage here. That way I can get a legit two-for-one. Alright. Let me first make sure. Yep, we have a, gra we have a grave crawler. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright. Hello? Let's not do that. Please. Alright, cool. Stuff is happening! Yay! And if we need to, we can just shotgun the Stitcher Supplier in <laughs> to, uh, to pump you up a little bit more. But I'm gonna try to get the extra one point of damage in first, I think. I think that that's correct. Whew. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, once again, looking at their... Th there's no way on Earth that they brought in Lightning Bolt, right? This is a really bad matchup for Lightning Bolt. Isn't it? T someone tell me I'm wrong. Like, I know it has some fringe benefits, but surely you wouldn't want to take out one of the cards. I mean, let's see. How many dead cards do they have, actually? Uh, double Pyroblast, double Flusterstorm. Flusterstorm's basically dead. Um, <laughs> Mana Drain a Hogak. Time Twister seems good. Uh, Force of Will actually seems like it's less than ideal. Ooh! Ooh! Huh. Thinking. You know, it slows the clock down a little bit. But is it alright? If I sack the Stitcher Supplier here? They're left with no mana at this point. They haven't played a Mox yet. Uh, it's probably okay. Let's look at the graveyard one more time. One more darn time. <laughs> one more darn time. Yeah, um, the only downside I can see is that I'll have to actually play out the Lot with Troll in order to get a Hogak, but I don't have a Hogak yet anyway. Uh, I'm gonna sack you. Where's Shake? Shake, rattle, and roll. Alright, cool. 
let's uh mill the top three again. What'd we hit? Still not yet. Buddy, where are you? Buddy! Right, now you can go. Now you can go. Okay. Whale. Whale. Uh, that's a decent abrade. Alright, we will untap. Doodle. <gasps> da 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 Alright. Let's look at our graveyard again. No blood ghast. That's a little unfortunate. Let's, uh, let's first do faithless looting. This seems right. Make sure that resolves. Okay. So just, you know, just making sure. <laughs> An innocent faithless looting. What could go wrong? One, two, buckle my shoe. Should I do both? Should I do both? Should I do both, folks? Uh, well, now we have a second Hogak, so I can actually cast Lotleth Troll, get Hogak out of the yard using Convoke. Yeah, yeah. So we discard the land. It's not even all that risky, given what we've seen so far. So, uh, Lot with Troll, see if that resolves. If I'm doing this main phase one, well, uh, they saw the Hogak in the yard. They know what's about to happen here. They know what's about to happen. Alright, good, good. Alright, so let's, let's do this one step at a time. You, and I have to get rid of some stuff, so, uh, one, two, three, four, I'd like to keep you in the yard just in case, um, nope, that, that doesn't help much. So we only have the close spore shaman that actually matters for that. Uh, let's see, let's see, you? I guess. And you are five! <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, can you beat Hogak? Can you beat Hogak? I need to know. I'm so cold in here, I'm so cold in this room. Here, I may need some coffee just to keep my blood hot, keep my blood warm. Mr. J, is Hogak good in vintage? Also, Mr. J, is Hogak Saitama? I'm gonna check to see how much time I have left on the card. Enough to get through this game. Oh, oh god, I just saw the oh god in chat. Yeah! Past turn. And we have Force of Vigor up. And there's a non-zero chance they took out Force of Wills because it's really bad in this matchup. Uh, did they, they already drew, then they tap. Okay, cool. Top. I'm gonna say no response. And they're spinning the top. Okay, all right. You can do this. You don't have but a few more minutes, hopefully. You can do it. Okay, if I only have a few more minutes, I'm just gonna tank. <laughs> mm. Hello, caffeine, my old friend. <laughs> okay. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Let's see, yet another grave crawler. Eight. I mean, this is 12. I don't actually have to dump the grave crawler here. It's a little cute. Let's just go to combat first. Uh, 
uh, 12. <laughs> Is Hogak too good for vintage? Is modern Hogak too good for vintage, folks? Let me know. No effects. <sighs> oh my goodness. This is, this is stupid. Alright, I think that the next thing I'm supposed to do here is uh, flashback faithless looting. I would, I believe that that's correct. Alright. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Folks, is this... Oh? Uh-oh. Did I do something wrong? I have literally no outs. <gasps> we got there, folks. We're 3-0 with a modern deck. <laughs> to turn through the top four cards of my deck. And still win. Oh, dude. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh my goodness, GG, we got there. Oh wait, 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 reveal, reveal, reveal. Oh, okay, okay. I had a Lotus and a Dak. <laughs> Mox Yagrill on top, oh, oh, it's so good, it's beautiful. I had Vault, I could not find Key. So with uh, with Force of Vigor um, and being able to pitch the Hogak, or previously the Troll, I actually wasn't worried about Vault Key because in response to trying to untap the Vault, I could just blow them both up. Oh. Thank you for play- oh, I just left. Oh, you just left, Mr. J, Mr. J, okay. That was great. You you had me worried for a while, to be honest. I didn't get a chance to ask you about how you sideboarded. Oh, I didn't get a chance. Oh. Sorry about that. Just It was easy enough, given the way that I saw the deck constructed, to bring in uh, Force of Vigor times 3 and Nature's Claim. Bring in all the artifact removal that I could. Uh, it just it made the most sense. And it's instant speed too, so I can use it to disrupt Vault Key. Now, importantly, it doesn't hit Blightsteel Colossus, uh, which is one of the reasons why I really wanted to know. Sphinx of the Steel Wind does not have Indestructible. Now, it is pro-green, so it actually does matter for that. Um, actually, no, 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 now that I think about it, the only creatures that are big enough that they could kill Sphinx of the Steel Wind are also green. Uh, Hogak and... Uh, lot with troll. So actually, never mind. No, it didn't actually matter. Who would have thought? And Assassin's Trophy doesn't hit it either. Never mind. It didn't make a difference. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I'm so tired. Wait, 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 wait. Carry and feeder. Carry and feeder could get big enough. Oh, whatever. In what world? <laughs> In what world is carry and feeder? Whatever. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to go get some sleep. I'll be awake in about 12 hours, probably. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. This this deck, this stupid, stupid deck is 3-0. <laughs> this thing was too good. This was too good for modern folks. Anyone that thought that this was not too good? I have 3 own a Vintage League with a modern deck. <laughs> Granted, I've gone up against fair decks every time, but still, fair decks that are drawing three and taking infinite turns and getting out of Blightsteel Colossus, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, everybody. <laughs> Take care. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>